Hermann Göring was born in the Kingdom of Bavaria in 1893. He joined the German army when World War I began in 1914. The Germans considered him a heroic fighter pilot. Due to this successful military career, Göring became the successor of the legendary German pilot nicknamed the Red Baron at the end of the war. The war ended after Kaiser Wilhelm II conceded defeat on behalf of the Germans. Following this event, the German Empire collapsed and the Weimar Republic was established in its place. Göring went to Munich after leaving his job as a pilot. He was subjected to oppression and violence by communists in Munich. He couldn't tolerate the disrespect shown to his uniform. Therefore, he got on his plane and left Germany. After he returned to Munich, Göring met Adolf Hitler and joined the Nazi party in 1922. Hitler was wanting the SA, the military force of the Nazi party, to be a more organized army. For this reason, he appointed Hermann Göring to head the SA. In 1923, the Weimar government began to delay the war compensation paid to the Allies. In response, France sent their soldiers to Germany and captured some industrial centers. This was a clear call to war for Göring. Taking advantage of this development, the Nazi party planned to seize power by making a military coup. Göring would play an important role in this attempt. However, this military coup failed. In the conflict, Hermann Göring was shot and injured by the soldiers who suppressed the military coup. Adolf Hitler was arrested and sent to prison. When the dust settled, Göring found a way to escape to Austria. While he was trying to treat his serious wounds, he became addicted to morphine and broke psychologically. In 1927, Göring returned to Germany. In the elections held in 1927, the Nazi party received 3% of the votes. On this occasion, Hermann Göring entered parliament for the first time. In 1931, Göring lost his wife, Karen, and devoted himself fully to his career. In 1933, he had an important opportunity. He brought Hitler and President Hindenburg together. At the end of this meeting, Hindenburg appointed Hitler as German Chancellor. This successful move earned Göring the title of Prussian Minister of Internal Affairs. He transformed the police forces into his special organization, the Gestapo, by using the power of the state. The entire radio network was under control. He also had the opportunity to gain leverage against anyone he wanted by wiretapping phones. Adolf Hitler gave the air ministry to Hermann Göring and asked him to establish the Luftwaffe secretly. The air forces created by Hermann Göring played a major role in the occupation of Poland, Denmark, Norway, Luxembourg, Holland, Belgium, and France. Following these successes, Göring was awarded the rank of Reichsmarschall, the highest military rank. Hermann Göring, at the peak of his career, has increased self-confidence. He convinced Hitler that they could defeat Britain with the Luftwaffe. However, Britain didn't give up and repelled all German attacks. This was Göring's first failure. On the Eastern Front, German troops who faced difficult conditions suffered heavy losses against the Soviet Union. This situation could have been an opportunity for Göring to redeem himself. Therefore, he said that the Luftwaffe could provide ammunition and food support to the German troops fighting on the Eastern Front. However, German aircraft of the period weren't suitable for bad weather conditions and long distances. For this reason, this plan soon failed, and German soldiers faced a disaster. Göring, who was shown as Hitler's successor, was no longer as valuable as before. Germany was trapped by the Allies in 1945. When hopes were running out, Göring was planning to become the Führer of Germany after Hitler. He withdrew all his money from banks. He decided to hide the works of art he stole from the Louvre Museum during the French occupation. On April 20, 1945, Hermann showed his final loyalty and attended Hitler's 56th birthday. This would be the last time he saw Adolf Hitler. On May 7, Germany accepted unconditional defeat. Shortly after, Hermann Göring was captured and imprisoned by the Allies. The Nuremberg trials began on November 20, 1945. Göring defended himself in court like a peaceful diplomat. He mentioned that he didn't know about the concentration camps, he was just being patriotic. However, despite his successful performance, he was found guilty and sentenced to death. Hermann Göring died in his cell by committing suicide with a cyanide bottle before he was hanged.